daughter. I don't even know how to describe her. She is my everything. She is my everything. She is like a mother in this house. She takes care of her siblings. She takes care of me. Gaga, I got your milkies. Since you want to act like a baby. This is the story of Donnelly Donaldson, age 24, a beautiful young lady who was murdered by her policeman boyfriend for posting a picture of them together on social media. Constable Noel Maitland, who was a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force decided to kill her because his other girlfriend was not happy with the picture which Donna Lee had posted of them earlier on. He made sure her body was not found despite everything the cops tried to do. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. This case would be taking us to Kingston, Jamaica. Kingston is the capital and largest city of Jamaica, located on the southeastern coast of the island. Tucked in between the Blue Mountains and the world's seventh largest natural harbor, Kingston simultaneously impresses you with its setting and overwhelms you with its sprawl, noise and hustle. Crime rates are high in and around Kingston and Montego Bay. Gang violence and shootings are common in inner city areas. Donnelly Donaldson, age 24, was a very pretty lady. She was a sweet, energetic, and outgoing person. She was a very lovely person both in real life and on her social media platforms. She can be seen here being silly in some of her videos. Instead of complaining about anything, learn to be thankful for everything. Hashtag speaking from the heart, B. Fletcher. Apparently, if your video is exactly seven seconds long, you show up on people's For You page. Did it work? Donnelly was very close to her mother, she flaunted that she was her best friend because she didn't have a child yet. Donnelly was into fashion, she had an online business which was one of the few source of her income. She was also into TV life, she does a few things here and there in the Jamaican entertainment industry. Donnelly was a driven person, she was a social media influencer who wanted to make it big. She had a social media dedicated to being a boss lady and helping people to achieve their dreams. Despite that, she still found time to live her life to the fullest. Come with me to the club with my girls. She spent some time eating out and partying few times when she could. During one of these times, she met a young man by the name of Noel Maitland. Noel was a police constable and music producer. He appeared to have everything right, they were into each other. They appeared like two couple that loved each other. They even appeared on camera together talking about different things. The issue in that relationship was that Noel had a baby by another woman who was also a police officer. Her name is Kithy and Smith. She had dated Noel for four years before Noel met Donna Lee. 
Kithy got pregnant for Noel while he was dating Donna Lee. They started having issues due to this lady. It was said that they met sometimes and it turned physical between these two ladies. Things would go very bad for Donna Lee right after her birthday. On July 11, 2022, Donna Lee decided to go to her boyfriend where she was seen entering with two other ladies and Noel himself, but she was never seen coming back outside the house, instead a bloody couch was what left the house. Two days later, her mom reported her missing when she didn't hear from her. Police declared her missing and it became a very high-profile case in Jamaica. My daughter, I don't even know how to describe her. She's my everything. She's my everything. She's like a mother in this house. She takes care of her siblings. She takes care of me. She's been loved by everybody around her. She's a social media person. She has been following by everybody. I don't know what could have caused this bitter, this bitter result. Five days following her disappearance, police in Jamaica held a press briefing on Monday to discuss the current state of investigations into the whereabouts of Donna Lee Donaldson. During the briefing, officials said they were looking through over 20 hours of CCTV footage and also indicated that they had processed the vehicle of Donaldson's boyfriend, identified as Constable Noel, Noel Maitland. Deputy Commissioner Fitz Bailey also seemed to give credence to rumors circulating on social media that the young social media star was seemingly involved in a love triangle with her policeman boyfriend and another officer, saying that the vehicle of a female district constable identified as a Miss Smith has also been processed. However, Bailey says there has not yet been a suspect or suspects identified in the matter. We are looking at all the variables that are we have we are looking we have we have broadened our investigation and i will not say at this time we have identified any person of interest we have in our minds we have looking we are looking at some theories we will not say what those are but we have not yet narrowed it down to a person of interest both Maitland and Smith have been approached by police, Bailey said. Investigators recorded a statement from the former, but Ms. Smith, the, dep the deputy commissioner says, has thus far been uncooperative, refusing to give a statement to her colleagues. Well, we will deal with that at the appropriate time. It's an investigation that is ongoing, and there are methods that we, we, we can deploy, or we can employ to, to um, deal with that issue. As a citizen, you have a right, and a statement is a voluntary, um, it's, it's voluntary, but we are still doing our investigation. Police put everything together to find her but could not find her. During their investigation, they discovered her blood on Noel's couch. Initial investigations revealed bloodstains on a couch, a floor, curtains, and a pair of sneakers that were found inside the Chelsea Manor apartment which belonged to Noel. They also got information of him washing a bloody couch at a car wash. During the wash, the attendant said, a whole heap of blood coming out the right side. Jesus this man must be dead. He must have bled out. We believe that Miss Donaldson was killed on Tuesday the, f uh, Tuesday the 12th of July any time between 4 and 8 in the evening. And this is supported by, as I indicated before, forensic and, this, and um, technology. We have not yet um, determined the reason for our, our death, but what we can say that she was killed based on our investigation. Unfortunately, Donaldson was just one of Noel Maitland's romantic partners. He admitted to still seeing the mother of his newborn which caused a problem between him, her and Donna Lee. He also admitted to having an argument with Donna Lee about a photograph of Kithy and Smith which Donna Lee found in his apartment. Donna Lee met her faith when Noel found out that she had posted a picture of her and Noel on social media. It's believe an argument ensued and he killed her. This is believed to be one of the reasons he killed her. Noel was caught in his acts, 
he tried to convince a security guard at the apartment complex to ally about his activities and help destroy a bloody couch from the apartment. The police believe that Maitland acted alone in the killing of Donaldson, but he may have received help in disposing of the body. Even though he denied knowing what happened to Donna Lee, he was arrested after all evidence pointed to him. Deputy Commissioner of Police Fitz Bailey made the announcement at a press conference. On July 27, Constable Maitland was taken into police custody and a press statement issued. On July 29, he was taken before a court and remanded in custody. What I can report at this time is that Constable Maitland was this afternoon charged with the murder of his 23-year-old girlfriend, Donna Lee Donaldson. His formal charge comes after 20 days of diligent and comprehensive investigation by detectives in what began as a missing persons investigation. But given the evidence that was being collected, subsequently became a murder probe. The policeman, who is also a music producer, was charged with murder and preventing the lawful burial of a corpse. Noel was subsequently remanded in custody. He or anyone else has not offered a confession in the case. Donaldson's body has never been found, though the police have theorized that she was killed inside Maitland's Chelsea Manor, New Kingston apartment, and her body later disposed of. Her mother said she was never supportive of the relationship and blamed herself for letting this happen to Donna Lee in this voice recording of her. He would call my daughter in the middle of the night. My daughter don't go to places. She don't go nowhere. She's not a party person. She's a home housewife type of person. But he would call her like one, two in the before day in the morning. And because she don't want me to know she's leaving, she would she would tiptoe and walk to the back grill or the side and I I sometimes I know she's leaving and I think I am a part of the fault why she's disobeyed because I should stop her. The police have carried out several operations, including a visit to the Riverton City Landfill, aimed at recovering Donnelly's body but still no luck finding her body. I know someone that asks regarding the likelihood of us recovering her body. We continue to pursue our investigation, and um, we have done several um, operations, including going to the River City Dump, um, where we did an extensive search, and we came up with nothing. So we'll continue as we get the lead. I can't come to a, a, a decision whether or not our body will be found. We hope that would be the, the end game, that her body is found, and so that the family can actually bring closure to an unfortunate um, situation. The police have theorized that she was killed sometime between 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. on July 12, the last day Cell Towers analysis placed her phone, as well as Noel's phone in the vicinity of his apartment. An April 7, 2025 trial date has been set for Noel Maitland. We do hope Donna Lee gets the justice she deserves. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Donna Lee Donaldson. May Donna Lee's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.